But you know what? This is a racial thing, but not in the way that people think. This is a, not a white people versus black people racist thing. This is a black people versus everybody, including other black people racist thing. The fact is, is that young black men in America are considered to be bad, evil, criminal. All of them are considered to be suspect. Um, if they go into a store, they're going to be followed around as if they're going to steal something. You know, and it's just the impress impression of young black men is negative. It's negative from white people to black people to Mexican people to, I mean, Hispanics, all kind of people. Young black men are bad. So, they're kind of like walking targets like this Sean Bell guy, walking targets for everybody, you know. Um, there was a study done a while back, I read it myself, please do your research if you want to argue with me. And they tested police officers and put them in scenarios where they would run the risk of shooting at an armed suspect. And whenever the cutouts were black, the officers were more likely to shoot a black unarmed cutout. You know, how they do the, you know, the tests or whatever, they go through the program, they have the little cutouts and they be shooting at them, the police officers and stuff, trying to, you know, training, exercises. Whenever the cutouts were black, there was a greater chance that the cops would shoot an unarmed black suspect or cut out than an unarmed white suspect or cut out. And they discovered that race didn't matter. The black cops which were quicker to shoot at them. The white cops were really quicker to shoot at them. Probably the Hispanic cops or Asian cops. All of them were quicker to shoot at a young unarmed black man than anybody else. You know, so that lets you know right there. It's not purely a, a, a racial situation but in a, at the same time it is a racial situation because blacks are being discriminated against they're being uh, penalized for the color of their skin and I, I do honestly think that that Sean Bell and his buddies they unloaded on like, them like that because they was black but it wasn't just merely a, a white police officer hating black people situation it was uh, it wasn't just white officers involved in this shooting 50 times at this guy. It was, I understand there were some black officers involved as well. It's, 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 it's just hatred towards black people, period. Hatred towards black. Black on black hatred. White on black hatred. Hispanic on, on black hatred. I mean, have y'all heard about how in uh, uh, Los Angeles, uh, Mexicans are killing blacks because they're blacks? Have you heard that down in Mexico, there's a lot of racism against black people? Wherever you go, almost everywhere you go, people are hating on black people. So no, this case is not surprising that they were quick to shoot at a young black man over 50 times. It's not surprising. But something needs to be done to put this to an end, this type of persecution of black young men. Something needs to be done to stop this. Now we've tried putting a bunch of non-minorities in office hoping that they would fix things and it hasn't exactly worked out so I'm figuring all the minorities in America need to maybe start trying to put some more minorities in office vote for Barack Obama maybe there will be a racial change in America you know maybe the open season on young black men will come to an end you know um, better training for police officers you know train them that just because it's black don't mean it's going to shoot you you know, I mean, you know auto, being black is an automatic you know that's fire on them 50 times you know in case they might be armed even though we we're not sure they are armed or not we just fire them anyway you know because I can't I, I really can't imagine them doing that to a, a white suspect or a, a car white you know not really I mean not as not as quickly as they would do it to a, a car full of blacks. I just don't see it. 
Um, so, yes, I think this is a racial situ racist situation, but not in the sense where blacks should be going out hating on all white people, as if they all they should be examining themselves and saying, you know, you know, well, how can we change the way society looks at us? You know, what can we do to give society or make society feel better about us as black folks, you know? Um, start going to school. You know, stay in school. Get your college degrees. Um, as a race of people, we not need to stop committing so many crimes. We, we commit too many crimes. And that's helping to give people, all peoples, even us, a negative impression of, of black people. You know? Um, no matter how bad the police are, or how bad we think they are, try to respect the police, no matter what. Don't talk back to the police. Don't do things, you know, that's going to set them off. Because you know they're already kind of against you, because you're black. You know, so don't don't get smart mouth with them. It's like, um, I think one of the comedians said, if you're black and you get smart with a police officer, you deserve to have your ass whooped. You know, that's basically how he put it. And I didn't agree with that, but I could kind of see where he was coming from. Uh, you know, you want to be, not do anything to set them off, because they're already looking at the fact that you're black. And that's working against you, so... Be nice, be courteous, even if they rule, be nice. If you want to file a little complaint afterwards, after they're done with you, uh, fine. But like the Bible says, agree with thine adversary while thou art in the way with him. In other words, don't talk back and get smart with somebody that can do you in. That can, that can kind of ream you, you know what I'm saying? That's that's not a good move to make. So I'm, I'm very upset by this I'm very saddened but I'm not surprised and as long as society continues to view have a negative opinion of black people this will continue to happen and I think there's things that we as a people can do to improve the perception of us stop having so many kids out of Whitlock stop being leading in terms of uh, having uh, more children that are being raised in single homes stop all these things that are giving people negative impressions of us because although the majority of us are not doing bad things a lot enough of us are doing it to give us a bad impression of ourselves and larger society a, a bad impression of us and when people have a bad impression of you they're gonna they're gonna do all manner of evil against you I mean they're never gonna give you the benefit of the doubt they're gonna be quick to shoot at you 50 times like in this case and they're just gonna they're just gonna continually give you problems. So like people like Bill Cosby are saying, we really need to straighten up ourselves, straighten up our act, uh, do the things that will that will gain us more respect, and uh, and and take responsibility for shop shortcomings, our shortcomings, and not blame other people every time something bad happens. Don't do that. We as a black people have to do everything in our power to advance. You know, stay in school, go to school. Uh, if the police pull you over, don't get smart. I mean, it's just common sense. Do the right things and you'll have less trouble in life. My heart goes out to the family of Sean Bell. They have been done a grave injustice. And also the young men that were shot in the car, they have been done a grave injustice. And although these officers, who are not all white, cannot be tried for the same quite uh, for the same crime twice in the criminal justice system, I hope to God that the families are able to sue and win in civil court. You know, just these cops got acquitted just like OJ did. But that's hope. Just just like OJ got 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 by the crypt by the civil uh, justice system, that these officers or the state of New York or whatever gets gets gotten the same way that these that these families get massive settlements because some justice is better than no justice at all. God bless you and keep you. Bye bye.